again everybody and welcome back to Life in the Woods. Last time we decided that we're probably going to just stop in this area for a little bit, make a new home and make a new farm and then basically just kind of get some more food stores going and make like a second base of operations. This will be our new base um, to work from and then we can travel a bit more and do some more collecting of plants and trees and such once we have a little base of operations going and our food situation is a little bit more stable but I hopped up the side of this little area to get a better view um, and to see about where we want to actually do this build I feel like I want to do it somewhere in here because then I can just see both sides but then I also really like the view of that area so I'm not sure what I think I think I need to look from here and then look from over there and that'll maybe give me a better idea. Um, but what we could do is just incorporate a lot of like transparent blocks in the build too. So then that way even when I'm outside of it, I can see like through it. And I think that might be what I do, but I'm not sure. So just hopping down here, trying not to break any ankles. So yeah, from this area, like you can see the lush swamp over there. You can see the mountains on either side. And then from this way, you can see this nice, beautiful valley. There's like a little lake over there. And then there's also mountains kind of ringing the entire area. And hypothetically, I would have a garden on one of these sides. And then if you look from here and here, gigantic mountains. Coming over here though. Hi, how's it going? Haven't found any saddles, so I can't make you my friend. I am going to have to contend with grasshopper or crickets though, and that's going to be an issue. Uh, you know, honestly, I think, I think I'm happy with the idea of making a build there because the, the actual view of it isn't as spectacular as just the, the feeling of being there. I'm going to look from the other side though, just to make sure before I start doing something and decide I don't like it. Is that a thistle? Is that a thistle? It's a thistle. Give it to me. One of my mom's favorite flowers is a thistle. I don't know if I'd call it a flower, but it is a, it's a flower. There's a flowering part. Yeah, like this view is gorgeous. And the butterflies. Ugh. It's too good. Got these sheepies being derps. There's a blue flower over here I want to check out. Oh, what is it? The Cosmo? No, Carnation. Nice. Yeah, no, I think I like the idea of having a house there. Uh, and I might just make it so that it's raised up or something. I'm not entirely sure how the house build is going to go. Or even what I'm going to use to do it. But picking a place is the first step. Now we just need to decide on some supplies. And building supplies. All right, so it's the most rudimentary thing possible, but uh, we've got this tiny little nook in the wall with the bed, the crafting bench, um, a chest full of flowers, and um, just the forges, what are they called? Furnaces, uh, which should have iron in them just to be working. There we go. So we'll get that going, get some iron cooking. So there we go, just the basics and then uh, no baddies. I did just sleep through the night and watched some skeletons and zombies die in the sunlight. Which of these? Growth height 14. Ooh. Uh, growth height 20. All right. Growth height 14, 8, 16. So we're going to stick with the Asper because it has the tallest growth height that I can see. That means that even if I leave it growing for a while, um, it won't, I won't be wasting too much time. So yeah, it's just this tiny little hole in the wall there because I want to have the build over here. And then that way I don't just put all my like chests down. Oh, 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 it's a bone, it's a bone and arrows. Okay. Huh. But yeah, that way I don't just put my chests down here and then be like, wait, I need to move those. Wait, I need to move. Wait, I want to put a block there. Wait. <laughs> so I'm trying to save myself time and frustration by just making that temporary little spot there. And then we'll 
naturalize that again afterwards. Or we could turn this into a uh, mine actually, because I, I kind of like where that is. But yeah, for now, just gonna be a little area for all my stuff, excuse me, and for just, just a safe spot, safe spot to put supplies and everything. I kind of want to do this somewhere where I can just punch it all at once. I don't really like this spot. I might take these with me too. There we go. Let's do it somewhere flat, like right here. Right here looks nice. Yeah, so of course, like all of these like grasses and stuff. Right now, I just want them out of my way, but later on, I can grow them back. Um, I should probably shear them. But I've already done it. I've already killed all the grass. If I sheared them, I could actually compost them too. So that was a bit of a waste, but it's fine. I will survive. So let's get some of this going. We want about two rows. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, why did I count eleven the other way? Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so we'll do that, and we'll do that, and let's just put some in there already. So now I've got our little compost area going, and hopefully, like, I can just run along, punch it all, and it won't just like fall off the edges because it's right in the center here. Should be easy to clean up. It grows nice and tall, and we get our compost going. Compost situation. What is this flower? Oh, it's just the oxide daisy. Look different. Okay, so we do need more wood though, and a lot of it. Um, I have some saplings. I don't have very much bone meal. I have some more bone meal, but what do I have? So three bones and no bone meal in here. So yeah, the bone meal situation, not good. So I think I'm just gonna plant all these oak saplings I have and then hopefully a bunch of them will grow during the day. I have one dark sapling, one maple sapling, and that's it. I'll take those out and put them elsewhere. Moss, bamboo, 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 excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take that out too. Textile garden. But I think everything else is pretty much. Ooh, sugar canes. Let's take those out too and plant those so they can start growing more crops. I'm gonna plant them over there. All of this is temporary, just to bulk up our stocks of things. Do also really need um, to make some food, but we have to watch out because we are surrounded by oh my gosh smooth aster you're coming with me we are surrounded by crickets and those are terrible for crops they will stomp on all of your crops they don't care they think stomping on crops is the best thing in the world so i'm gonna swap these out for some sand on this side What we might do though is make like an enclosed garden area just so that it's safe from crickets. Thank you. And then let's do that. I know, sheepies. I know. That and that. Alright. Once again, I want it to be easy to harvest, so I want to just be able to walk around and not have to like jump or anything. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at all this sugar cane. I have a lot of sugar cane. That's really good though, because it means I can actually use some of it for sugar, make some of it into books. But I definitely want to plant as much of it as possible, just so that I can replenish what I have because of the slow, 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 slow growth rate. Let's do this. And. Fantastic. So we've got. <laughs> 
<laughs> sugar cane all day or day. There we go. Plenty of sugar cane to grow. What are you doing way over here, cattails? You crazy. Okay, so that's another thing done. I uh, don't want to plant more. Not really. I'm not that motivated. I do have two more sandwiches. You are going to need to make more food. I'm going to eat both just so that I'm, I get the well-fed buff for a while. Let's put these in here. Salt, wheat. It would be good to get a garden going, but I definitely need to make it safe from crickets. Let's put these in the other bag. We do have one egg, so we can try and make some, whatchamacallit, chickens. Gravel. Uh, I don't need the stalagmite. And the chunk of flesh is kind of creepy. Keep the redstone torch, though. And the dirt. Chuck that in here. Not that. Oh yeah, I wanted to plant the trees. <laughs> I haven't done it. Good job. Good job. Alright, put that and that. There we go. Now we're tidy-ish. Oh, and I do have a clock, which is interesting too. Um, Do I want to plant them on this side or do I want to plant them on that side? I think I'll plant them right here. Right here seems like a good spot. You know what? Let's get that. Get the shears. We're gonna use the shears up, but it's fine. We can make more shears. I'm just compost this grass gives us a little bit more. And some of the grass is like, pretty, so I can use that in my gardens and stuff. All right. I know it's getting dark again already, so I'm gonna have to sleep. And we're going to want to have some torches around this area. At least temporarily while we do the build. Make everything safer. A lot of this stuff is temp- oh, am I- okay, I am picking it up. A lot of this stuff is temporary just so that it makes my life easier while I'm building, but then afterwards like, I'll plant grass back again and take a lot of torches down and there we go. Done on the grass front. Let's get some torches in here. Hi, Cricket. How's it going? Alright, get some torches between me and the little mini base. Gosh, it's so, 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 so dark at the dusk. Like, nighttime is brighter than dusk. I don't know if I can fix that some way. But it's something with the shaders. See, like, now that dusk has passed. It's not so bad. Let's plant some of these trees. In the scary, scary darkness. I should probably actually pay attention to how I plant these, but it's not a super big deal because they are oak trees and they grow like crazy. They are the happiest things ever to just grow. Of course, I magically put all the torches, like, right where I need to put the trees. There we go. Hey, wow! I totally didn't intend to have just, like, two rows, but I did it. I did it. You can see the little lamp post over there. Is there anything else we need to do in the night? Um... No, we've got the bamboo growing, we've got the trees down, we've got the sugar cane down. We need to get some more food going. And yeah. All right, so let's get grass, grass, short grass, switch grass. This wheat grass I'll keep because it's pretty. I'll harvest that in the morning. I'm going to sleep through the night. And then we'll get some food, I think. I think that's the next thing we need to work on is food. And then we can decide on what blocks and kind of style we want to go for with the house. Let's put this in here. All right. Sh 
shouldn't be anything too nearby because I was outside. So nothing would have had a chance to spawn, I don't think. But should be wary at all times. There we go. Do you have to wait for all the little bits to fall? That does take a second. There we go. But I like the positioning of that. that. That makes me happy. And wow, that makes almost three full stacks with one harvest. And it wasn't even fully grown, I don't think. So, yeah. Gonna stick with the Asper bamboo for now. Um, right. Done. 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 I could bone meal those trees, but I think I'm just gonna leave them for now. And we're gonna look at our food situation. Probably best to just make some more um, grilled cheese sandwiches. And I do have more milk and water. I uh, don't have very much wheat though. I can make, I think I can make wheat, or not wheat. Yeah, I think I can make flour out of potatoes. I think that's what I'll use. Uh, which I left them all at the other base. <laughs> Dang it. Um, here, let's do that. And then that. Excuse me. Need some salt. And I don't remember what I need. I think I need the mixing bowl, the pot, and the skillet. Maybe? I think that's what I need. Ooh, and we need to start... Dang it, did I not bring any soybeans with me? Uh, did I make any soybeans? I must have. Wait. No, that's a tea leaf and spinach. <sighs> Well, we need to start using the presser and making some more soybeans. That's the stock garden. Yeah. All right. So. What is it? Cheese. Grilled cheese. We need toast, cheese, and butter. Butter is silken tofu or heavy cream. Milk in a bowl. Okay. So. That and that. Mix the heavy cream. So that's one step, and then that, and that, and that. Nope. Uh, nope. All right, let's do this again. So butter, okay, saucepan. We, knew the, we do need another piece, we need the saucepan. So saucepan, heavy cream, and then salt makes butter. So there's the butter that we need. Ugh, and then we need the mortar and pestle. We need like everything, basically. Mortar and pestle, and then the potato should make flour. And then wheat should make flour. And cheese. I need milk and salt and the pot, which means I need way more salt. And I think we're done with that. Done with that. Done with that. Just need a heck of a lot of salt. Which actually, we're okay because I have made a lot of water beforehand. So let's do that. And 16. And that makes cheese. Okay, so we have 16 cheese, 16 butter, 16 flour. Actually, I think I still need the mixing bowl for that. Uh, flour, salt, water, mixing bowl, dough. Fantastic. And then I just need to cook the dough twice. And that will be, dang it, Ugh. that will be toast and then I'll have 16 more grilled cheese sandwiches. So that wasn't too bad. It didn't take too long. Not half bad. So I've got the skillet, the cheese, the butter, and the toast is being made. Still have some water left, although I should probably farm some more just so that it's done. And let's put these seeds down here, the bones down here. There we go. 
fantastic. So not bad, not bad at all. I thought that was going to be a little bit more frustrating because I thought that I didn't have enough salt and then I was going to have to farm that off camera, but ooh, that's another thing we can do. Let's make a marketplace. Just tidy up this jumble of treasure. Like so. Hey, one emerald. These nuggets can be turned into bars, I think, but I'll just leave them like that for now. And how do we make a marketplace? Mark, eh, not market, market. No, 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 not market, market. There we go, marketplace. There we go, oh, that's too easy actually. So there's four wool and four planks and then an emerald. So I think I have, I have two wool. And I can make some more wool probably with um, string. Do I have any string on me? I have three string, three cotton seeds, compost, and a hoe. I know I have two cotton and I have three jute stalks, but yeah, let's just make, um, let's make this little spot here. <laughs> This will be our like just tiny garden for doing tiny things. And I need a bucket. Let's make space for that and that. Excuse me. Grab some more compost while we're out here. And grab some water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just don't trust the crickets, basically. So We'll make a tiny little garden that we can just bone meal or compost at will for when we need it. Oh, I can get another type of tree on that. Is that fir or pine? Not sure. All right, so let's do that. And we need, do we have dirt in here? Got eclogite, which, oh, magmatite, eclogite. All right, I'll just hold on to that. Ah, oh, there we go, dirt, dirt. Uh, would you want to do this? Thank you. And the water bucket, like that. And throw that up. Fantastic. So for now, uh, just put that stuff away. Put that stuff away. Put that in there. And then put that away. And well, I don't want to put that there. I want that there compost. There we go. So I can just compost this a little bit, get some string. There we go. Got 12. And how much do we need? That doesn't matter. I'll just make it all. There we go. Perfect. No. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. So now we already have, yeah, we already have the oak planks. We already have the emerald. So let's do this and that and that. There we have it. We have the market, which is actually kind of cheaty, but it's pretty nice to have. So there we go. Now we have the market and this basically makes it so that you can buy any specific type of seed or some specific types of sapling as, lo as well as bone meal um, and spawn eggs for certain types of animals just the normal ones but it doesn't it's not cheaty really like it's not like you're spawning in crazy things like this is a cow I could literally just walk over there and get a cow but if I wanted I could buy one for nine emeralds but the nice thing specifically is that you can get different types of uh, fruit trees that's the best thing cinnamon sapling you know, three emeralds vanilla sapling. So like if you're having trouble finding one specific kind of thing, like a peach sapling, papaya, you can just buy that. So I don't really have any specific plans on using this for anything, um, but I like to make it. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. I think it just has the basic trees and then all the fruit trees and like basic 
all the harvest craft seeds, which there are a lot. Um, but there are like a lot of other things missing in here, different, like the, I think there's two or three mods of saplings that are not included, as well as seeds, but has a lot of the harvest craft stuff and some of the vanilla stuff, maybe all of it, but yeah, it's so like, oh man, I really want beans, but I can't find freaking beans. You can go get an emerald, buy yourself a bean seed. So really helpful to have, but not, not something I'm specifically planning on using. Um, I, want, I don't want this limestone block. Get out of my life. Oh, wait, that's not the right button. Get out of my life. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. So those are half done. Put them in again. Those will make toast. And then I can put the toast and the butter and the cheese and the skillet together and make myself another 16 grilled cheese sandwiches. And I need some more iron to make a new pick because my pick is about to break. Mm, yeah. Clay, marble, shale. I got all kinds of crazy stuff in my bags right now. All right. I have to watch out because I think, I'm not sure what the, the max stack is. I think it might be eight, so it might be okay for in the uh, furnaces. Can't always put like that hopper I have underneath so that they go directly out of the furnace and into the chest, but that chest is full of uh, flowers, so that wouldn't work. I think that was just the cricket making that noise, just falling and stomping. That's how it kills crops, which is why we're going to have to have something that's enclosed, I think. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. Two more toast here. Finish these off. And then we're probably going to finish that off here for today. I'm going to, off camera, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just looking at what kind of natural resources we have in the area and what kind of blocks we want to be using to build our house. Um, but I hope you have all enjoyed and I am looking forward to seeing you all next time when I pick up my skillet. Ah, oh, next time!